and these are the things I say these these are happening all the time but but it's it's what we're trying to do is just focus on it a bit more and see how we can can uh, develop even further so how do you teach metacognition well partly it is just oracy conversations so okay you've given me a piece of work just tell me how did you go about that why did you do it like that what did what worked for you do you think if you're going to do this next time what would you do differently so we, we'll talk about the work itself but we'll also talk about the process and making sure this time for that conversation is important okay and again relate this to the world of work you're in are all your conversations about the results the the, the conversion the this that and the other do, how much time are you spending on how you did it and how you could do it differently and why you might do it differently. Are, are, you, are you standing back a bit meta and thinking about that? So we, we've got to make sure we create time that in the conversations around the sixth form, students are doing this as well. Students are talking to us about this and they don't, they don't regard it as an odd question when we start saying, so how did you do that? Reflective practice, again, de developing students who are able, and teachers, all of us who are able to say, that was the outcome, what would I do differently? Not being afraid, even if I got 85%, not being afraid to go, what if, what, what could I do differently? What did work, what didn't work? Maybe take some risks. Imagine I got 85% and then I threw up in the air the way I did something and just tried a completely different way just to see, okay? Um, one of the teachers I was talking to last week, they, they have kind of these weekly uh, uh, assessments. They're, they're getting their students to talk through how they prepare for them. And they're getting students to share how they prepare for them. And then they're getting students to take a risk and try a completely different strategy and see what happens. Take risks. Let's see if we can take some risks to see what happens. So reflective practicing, questioning we're coming on to. Modeling is incredibly powerful. Uh, I, I did this in front of all of our staff where somebody came up to me and said, okay, here's a business question. How would you approach that question? And I had to talk through in front of all the staff. Okay, there's the title. My brain would start with that bit because it's an evaluative question. Then I'd focus in on these words. Then I'd start, and I was being almost, I was being interrogated almost. Go, well, why would you do that? And what would you do next? And what would you do next? And it's a really powerful way of letting people see inside your brain and where your brain is going. And they can decide if that's the way they want to do it or they want to do it a different way. Modeling, very powerful. Peer learning, again, students sharing, not just sharing work. OK, so a school that doesn't get students to share work is in a particular place. A school that gets students to share work and compare outcomes is in another place. A school that gets students to talk to each other about how they did something is in another meta place. Uh, and time, time's another one, and that, that's something we have to work with staff on, which is the, 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 the people often think the pressure is to get content. You know, it's a big syllabus. I've got to get through the content. I've got to get through the content. I've got to go and tell people things. And you've got to go, but let's stand back and go, OK, let's create some space for reflection and actually give more ownership of learning to students. And then we can support that in terms of how they use it uh, and how they use it effectively. So that's kind of the sort of it's a, and it is a culture, I suppose. It's a culture where this thing is talked about, thought about, not an odd thing to do. You know, you, if you go to a lesson and they get back a piece of work and then there's, a, there's actually time set aside to, to look at the feedback, to talk about it with somebody else and to reflect and write on the thing. This is how I'm going to do this. So this is how I could improve it. And this is how I could improve the process that's built into the learning. You're, you're developing quite a strong culture. 